Hi, this is Jennifer A. Mensa, and I'm coming to you about my new hair update. I'm sorry, I just burped. Excuse me. Um, I'm coming to you about my new hair update. Um, yesterday I did put a relaxer in my hair. There was nothing wrong with my natural hair. I just decided that I wanted to grow out my buzz cut into a pixie relaxed hair. Um, I don't know how final this decision is going to be, but I'm pretty, um, I feel pretty final about it right now. Um, I, um, I still have, it's low on the side. I'm going to show you. I don't know how good this is getting in the picture. The perm got pretty straight, so I was happy about that because lately when I've been relaxing, it hasn't gotten that straight enough, so it got pretty straight. And um, I had some of the other um, relaxed peep ladies had turned me on to the grease with the coconut oil and that really helped moisturize my hair because my um, natural hair had got very dry and I think when I went natural, when I went relaxed, I realized what it was that I had too much protein in my hair and so when I relaxed my hair, I did a moisture treatment and then next um, what time I wash it, I'm going to get under the steamer. Because um, I kept, when I was natural, I was kept saying, well, what's wrong with my hair? Why does it look so straw-like or so uh, stiff? And so I couldn't figure it out. And so it, when I relaxed it, I was like, oh, okay, I got too much protein in my hair. Um, I will be coming back with a video showing some of the products I brought for my um, relaxed hair. Some I had purchased for my daughter because she had relaxed hair. And then some I purchased just recently for my hair in the liter bottles. Um, so I'll be coming back to show you that. Um, yeah, so my hair is not moving a lot. It's laying flat. And so I think with a couple washes, I did use the neutralizer shampoo about four or five times because I had watched this YouTuber that's a um, hair, hair uh, cosmetologist named Bridget Har Har Bridget Harrison, something like that. And um, she said that you should be neutralizing, even though if you have short hair, you should be neutralizing a lot between five to seven times. If you have longer hair, you should be neutralizing even longer. And so I tried to do that yesterday. It wore me out because I think I neutralized, because usually I only neutralize about three times. And so yesterday I tried to neutralize about, I think I did it about five times. And so I was wore out. <laughs> and so, yeah. And I used the Optimal Care Relaxer. Um, I um, prepped my hair by putting the coconut grease around my, around the perimeter of my hair. Then I went in and based my scalp with it. Then I went ahead and set my timer for 15 minutes. And I didn't think I would need all the time. Um, so then I put the relaxer all over my head. Then I went in and start, after I put, put it all over my head, then I um, started um, smoothing it. I mean, it took me a while to to get it all in in, in the inside, because since I was natural. And so um, then I start smoothing it. Then I, um, when I got done with all that, it was like, I think I had like four minutes left, so then I let it sit on my hair for a while to get all the, um, get, get it straight. 
And so then I had got to neutralize the shampoo, washed it out for a long time. And then I um, went in with the Aunt Jackie um, moisturizing. I can't remember what it's called. It's like in condition or something. It has a little bit of protein in it, but it's mostly moisture. And so then I went in with that and left that on for an hour. Then I... Um, I let my hair air dry because it was so straight. And then I put the um, Nairobi Wrap and Shine, the um, Cream of Nature Leave-In Conditioner, and the Tresemme Heat Protectant. And um, then I put my scarf on. And um, then when it dried, I put the um, the Cantu Daily Moisturizer. And then I put some of the grease, the, um, let me get the grease, since I'm talking about it. Yeah, I put some of this Blue Magic Coconut Oil, and then I used the, um, Cantu Daily, um, Oil Moisturizer. And I just found this at the Dollar General, and I really like it, because it comes out like a really, since my hair is very thin, it comes out like thick, but it's real, it just moist, it just melts in your hand. And so then, um, I did that, and, um, that really moisturized my hair, and then I went to bed. And then when I got up this morning, it still feels a little dry back where they shaved me in the back, but that's to be expected. But the rest of the hair feels smooth or whatever. Yeah. Feels smooth. Yeah. And it seems like where they where they um had those parts at, I can still see it a little bit where they where they had those designs at. I can still see it a little bit. And so yeah, I'm growing out my buzz cut in two a pixie but I really want to grow my hair like I, I'm just doing it one step at a time so that I don't get overwhelmed or whatever but I do have larger goals to grow my hair but I'm just going to go one step at a time like probably after this, grow this out then grow my hair over my ears and then keep going Keep going, cut the mullet, and try and just, um, and so now I'm glad I got a little bit of hair in the front because the back grows a lot faster, and the back is shorter than the front, so that'll be an advantage for me. Well, comment, rate, and subscribe, and give me a thumbs up.